Elephants across Africa's conservation areas have for long been the target of poachers for their tasks which are on high demand in Asian countries. Though Ugandan game rangers have increased their vigilance and arrested some poachers on spot, little success has been achieved in stopping the vice. The evidence we had is that we were able to, to, to recover you know, poison traps along the park boundary. And then we got around five carcasses. Uh, the cause was not known. And so we attribute those, the death of those five elephants to poisoning. Crop baits remain a threat not only to elephants, but also other herbivorous animals that attract tourists. The game rangers say lions are also being poisoned by herdsmen, who claim to be avenging the killing of their animals in both protected and free zones. We lost three lions last year in uh, the area of Nyakatenji. They are, they are of course poisoned by the cattle killers. The human-wildlife game conflict continues to escalate due to the looming scarcity of pasture from grazing grounds, especially indigenous and more plants. Meanwhile, the chimpanzees, another valued species in Uganda and Queen Elizabeth National Park, also face predatory threats from carnivores as they strive to find supplementary food. They move out of the gorge to the communities and uh, red cross, sugarcane, Bananas, sometimes that is because the food in the, in the gorge is not enough. The primates then fall easy prey to carnivores like leopards. Harsh weather conditions have deprived chimps of fruits, which they greatly depend on. The management of the game reserve has now embarked on construction of a network of 177 kilometers of trenches and beehives in a bid to solve the human-animal land encroachment and conflict. The descent has been prevalent in areas like Kasese Ruhingo, Rubidizi Kafuro and the Ishasha Bukore border. The initiative requires 3 billion shillings to be implemented. <laughs>